April 11, 1970. Launch day. The crew of Apollo 13. Jim Lovell, commander and veteran of three previous missions. He had orbited the moon Christmas 1968 on Apollo 8. Fred Hayes, his first time up, lunar module pilot. Jack Swigert, command module pilot. Three days ago, he was on the backup crew. Now he replaced Ken Mattingly. Mattingly had been dropped from the mission because he had been exposed to German measles. He would watch the launch from Houston's mission control. Auto sequence initiated, flight. Roger. Flight booster. Go. No. S4B pre-press complete. Roger. Flight booster. S1C pre-press complete. We're on in. Ignition flight. Roger. Clock start, right? Roger. Run this door, all engines. Roger. Okay, final has Looks good here, flight. Got a great. Okay, move that either. That's one thing, looks good, flight. Okay, Capcom, we go here on the ground. Okay, we're going one, Capcom. Yeah, we're leaving, flight. Roger. Okay, I can, uh, I can see the S4B now at the hatch window. Odyssey and Aquarius moved away from Earth toward the moon. April 13, 1970. The mood could only be described as relaxed. Apollo 13, man's fifth lunar mission. The third scheduled to land on the moon, continued its tranquil coast. We've got one more item for you when you get a chance. We'd like you to uh, stir up your cryo tanks. Okay. Stand by. Okay, uh, Houston, we've had a problem here. This is Houston. Say again, please. Yes, sir. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. We've had a main B bus undervolt. Roger, main B undervolt. Okay, stand by, 13. We're looking at it. And now, listen there, you're looking out the uh, edge, so we are bending something. We are, uh, we are venting something out uh, into the uh, into space. There is a bulletin from ABC News. The Apollo 13 spacecraft has had a serious power supply malfunction that could cause the lunar landing mission to be terminated early. Okay, let's make sure that we don't do anything that's going to blow our CSM electrical power with the batteries or that will cause us to lose the main or the uh, fuel cell number two. The astronauts faced another problem, their own exhaled breath. The lithium hydroxide chemical to take carbon dioxide out of the air was not sufficient in the lunar module. They would have to adapt the canisters from the command module to fit the hoses in the left. On the ground, an adapter was fashioned from materials the crew had available in the lamp. Cardboard from a checklist, plastic bags, and tape. After checkout in an environmental chamber, the directions for construction were sent up to Aquarius. They got back into Odyssey to jettison Aquarius prior to entry into the atmosphere. I'm just... Okay, copy that. Farewell, Aquarius. Thank you. From the start, the exploration of space has been hazardous adventure. 
The voyage of Apollo 13 dramatized its risks. The men of Apollo 13, by their poise and skill, under the most intense kind of pressure, epitomize the character that accepts danger and surmounts it. Theirs is the spirit that built America.